my new job site. I'm not sure if the camera's really shaky or... Uh, anyway, we're doing a lot of stuff on this site. We're doing a new two-bed septic. Uh, we graveled the driveway today, did a little bit of trenching. Uh, we're re-waterproofing part of the foundation, so we'll kind of bring you guys through some of this job anyway. Definitely the septic. a shiny yellow machine out there. What could that be? Looks like my dad left this thing a mess. Thanks for the delivery, Tyler. We got our new 245 John Deere here. We actually got this in January, I think. My dad put 100 hours on it this winter. That was it. But we've been waiting for buckets for all winter. A ditching bucket. And I know all my uh, Swedish watchers are going to be like, well, why didn't you get an edge con? Um, it's not my my uh, decision. But it was supposed to have the ditching bucket, like the tilt bucket, on it when it showed up here today. But unfortunately, it, it, didn't, uh, it still doesn't have it. Swapped out the cat here for the 245. It might be a little bit big for uh, spots on this site, but I'm pretty excited to be running it here. It's virtually brand new, 113 hours on it. I've uh, I've never actually had the opportunity to run a brand new machine. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. You know, I get new snowmobiles every year. That's exciting, but I think this is more exciting for me because it's. Not every day you get a brand new excavator to run. New equipment's just always exciting. The main reason I wanted this machine on site here is to do this septic, fairly large septic. Two 32 meter beds with a 7,000 liter tank. Hopefully we can get the truck in to drop the tank where it's got to go. Otherwise, I'm going to try and lift it. But we have pretty good access here. It's a flat site, so should be good. Now, hopefully this uh, bucket isn't too big to fit where I was reaching with the cat up alongside this house. Otherwise, we'll have to put the tooth bucket on. Oh, wow. <laughs> this thing, uh, we're a lot bigger than the cat. Do you have fuel in your skid tank? Huh? Do you have fuel in your skid tank? Like empty? Yeah. Yeah, your dad loves to do that. He likes to leave things empty. This thing's weird. Why? It's a lot bigger than the cat. <laughs> oh, it's way bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course, uh, my dad left this machine bone dry on fuel, but we got Scott here, luckily. Just happened to stop in. So while the machine's a lot bigger than the cat, the bucket is actually the same width. It is uh, a lot deeper, but I could reach or put the bucket anywhere that I could put the bucket of the cat. So. 
handy for this anyway. Kind of funny, even though this machine's a lot newer than the cat, the camera of the or the quality of the camera is way worse. It's like 270p. I'm trying to work from the same spots that I was doing the work in the cat, and just way too close to the building. So we're in front of the house here now. We're starting our excavation for the septic tank. We've got a 7,000 liter tank coming tomorrow morning between 8 and 9 a.m. So they say, uh, looks like this is where the old septic was here, but we're just gonna use some of this fill to fill in an old existing hole over here. Set the laser up uh, somewhere over there. Set it to this pencil line on the wall right here. And, uh, I'll let you know how far down from that in a minute. So 70 inches down from that line. Of course, we got some snow in our excavation from the winter time. Um, right in the side of the hole, so. Either we move the tank over about eight inches, or we gotta dig all the snow out. Nick says to me, is that old tank staying there? I'm like, where is it? I don't see it. Apparently it's right here. So we'll have a look inside of it, see if it's pumped out. And if it's not pumped out, I guess we'll have to pump it out and crush it. Okay, we're going for attempt number two on the septic tank hole here. Uh, somehow I kind of forgot about the well that's not quite 50 feet away. It was going to be 48 feet from this tank and it has to be 50. So we're digging a new tank hole over here. I would just move the tank to where the old existing tank is, but uh, I can't get a pump out before the new tank is coming for a morning. Thursday morning here now and of course it's pouring rain and this is what I got to drive the truck through that's carrying the tank basically the lawn um, hoping it doesn't sink right out of sight and since someone will probably ask no that's not my truck uh, just a work truck my truck is in the shop getting some new brake lines right now there is our tank no problem sinks oh come on keep going uh oh <laughs> 
Well, that just threw a wrench in our day, blew a main hydraulic line. So I was thinking we could probably lift the tank off with the excavator. It's 6,400 kg, which is, so that's 14,100 pounds. And if we look at our chart here in the excavator, if we're 10 feet up and 15 feet out, we can lift 18,000 pounds, which we can lift it. But unfortunately, since the legs of the truck are out, and he blew the hydraulic line. He can't even lift his legs up to pull out of here. So I guess we just have to wait for the Mac tech to show up. So while they sit there with the septic tank, we're gonna dig out for our, our one bed here anyway. We'll get the filter sand in and stone in and then maybe some pipe as well. <coughs> to fill in a truck so fast. I constantly uh, track the wrong way in this machine because I'm used to having the blade to tell me which way to go. almost a bucket in there but I didn't want to scratch up the tailgate now that our tank is pumped we'll crush it up and bury it here I think I'll change to my other bucket though so I'm not sure why but they put a, a safety pin in the quick coupler so you have to get out of the machine anyway to disconnect the bucket Septic tanks when uh, you're 
you're done with them. So common practice is just to crush them up and bury them where they were. I really like having a quick coupler. <laughs> Feels spoiled. Got our second truck here now, but I forgot this truck can only carry 13 ton because it's got the spiff axle. So we might need a little more sand yet. Everybody's got their ways of doing their septic beds, but this is how I do it. We lay out three kind of strips of stone It'd be a lot better to do it this way if I had a ditching bucket. Or a tilt to rotator would be even better, but we'll lay out three strips of stone, set the pipe on that, get it set to the right height, and then uh, fill the whole thing with stone. Our septic tank is ready to go in the hole. Well, can he hook it without jumping up there? <laughs> Come on, let's see it. Oh, yeah. I got the tank set, but of course I had my phone set up just on the track of the excavator and I think it was blurry and then it fell over. So we didn't get the tank being set, but we got our pipe in here now too. We're just gonna put some stone over it. And then uh, once we get closer to the header with more stone, we will get out and make sure our header is level. Digging out for a second bed here, stripping off the topsoil. We'll kind of save it, reuse a bit of it. It's pretty good stuff. It's pretty hard for sand. Well, fine gravel.
break through this really hard layer of gravel here, it turns to just sand. That's a good call I just got. My new dryer is gonna be here on Saturday. That's so exciting to, to get a new dryer, you know? That's exactly what I wanna spend my money on. Unfortunately, my old dryer shit the bed, so. I could think of a lot cooler things to spend my money on. But I guess uh, that's, that's called adulting, isn't it? Looks like we have to pull our dump truck in. One bed done, two bed done, and we got our tank in. Pretty much ready for inspection. We just gotta put our distribution box in here and uh, feed each bed. But uh, unfortunately we won't be able to get an inspection on Monday cause it's like a holiday or something. So uh, we'll, we'll only be able to do so much here. I think that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't know if I'll make a second part of this one, probably not, but 
we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.